Basic Flowcharting in Programming brought to you by Syntax Club. So why do we need flowchart in programming? So it makes analysis, design, documentation, and debugging much easier by representing the flow with symbols. It is not only applicable in programming problems, but problems in general, especially those with high complexity. So here are the basic uh, flowchart symbols. First, we have OBAT. It represents the start or end of the program. So it is where the program um, enters and also it is where it terminates. Next, arrows. Arrow is a line connector uh, that relates the representative shapes in the diagram. So flow lines. Next, we have input or output. So it is represented by parallelogram. So it represents uh, the input of user and also the output if you want to display something. You put it in this symbol. Next, we have uh, process. It's represented by rectangle. So process like summing uh, variables, dividing, multiplying. So you put it in here. Next, we have decision represented by a diamond. So it, it indicates decision making. So like the if else statement. So you put it in here, the condition. Next, we have, um, we will gonna use this five symbols to answer this C programming problem. So write the C program that computes the average of N numbers. Draw its flowchart. The user inputs the number N, and then the program will ask for a number of times or n number of times and then displays the computed average. So for that, we start with the oval. So here, here is the start of the program. And then we'll go to inputting the, the number n. So it is the total number of inputs. So uh, it's transcended by this parallelogram. And going down to input integer, another parallelogram. So the number of or the, the number of times it will repeat inputting integer is based on this n input. So after inputting an integer, it will update the sum variable. Every after new integer, it will sum to the uh, previous uh, sum value to get new uh, value of sum so it will update in this part so it's a process represented by this next we have the decision symbol so this decision will um, dictate whether or not we continue with the loop or not so the condition is if the total number of inputted integer is equal to the n which is the maximum number of integers that must be inputted then if it's no if it's not equal it will go back to inputting again an integer and then summing it again and lastly if it um, equals then it will proceed to this um, process the solving for average so average is the sum over N. And then after that, it will display the average. So represented by this output um, symbol. And that's how the, the program flows. And then it will be terminated using this oval. So that's basically in how to solve that specific problem. Thank you for watching.